Hi everybody, welcome back to another segment on Finance with Kay. Um, my name is Kay Mbofu and I am a money management coach. So welcome to the side of TikTok. Now I'm saying TikTok because I do have TikTok and I do love TikTok. So please also follow me on TikTok. But welcome to the side of YouTube where we focus on personal finance and we focus on the person in the personal finance more than the finance part. So if you are new here, none of the videos that I share here constitute as financial advice. They are all for educational purposes. And if you do need financial advice, you can contact me on this details on the screen and then we can have our one-on-one -on -one virtual consultation. So anybody in South Africa or South Africans staying in other countries, you can be able to contact me and I can be able to help you with your finances. So if you are a returning subscriber, welcome our wealth managers. So our community is a community of wealth managers. So welcome back and let's get to today's topic. So today I want us to talk about the two methods that you can use to pay off your debt. If you are new and you don't know what do we mean by paying off debt, we don't mean you paying the minimum amount until the debt is done. Paying off debt, we mean that you're paying your debt sooner than the original term. Because if you pay until the original term, it means that you are giving the bank money in terms of interest. And as wealth managers, we don't have money to give to the bank. We have money to put and grow our wealth so that we can be able to also manage it very well. So we don't have money to give to the bank. So we will do anything in our power to stop giving money to the bank. And that is paying off our debt because that's how the bank makes money out of us. So the two methods, the first method is a snowball method. So what is a snowball method? What, how does it work and what are the benefits of it? So the snowball method is when you pay the debt that has the smallest or the lowest balance first. So let's say that you have like um, five debts and one debt is like the balance is 4,000. Then another one is like 10. The other one is like 20,000. So the one that has the lowest balance, which is the one that is uh, five, what, which example did I use? Did I say 5,000? Let's rewind. Let's say 5,000. No? The lowest one in this example is 5,000. Then the following one is 10. Then the third one is 20 because all these numbers, they just need to be simple. So now it means that on the 5,000 one, on the installment, you will still pay three of them, minimum installment, the amount of money that you have signed on the agreement. But the one that is the lowest balance, you're going to add more on it first. So whatever extra you get, you pour on the one that has 5,000 rent. Whatever extra you get, you pour on the one that has 5,000 rent. When that one is fully paid, you take the installment that you were paying on the 5,000 rent one, you add it on top of the installment that you will be paying on the 10,000 rent one, which is the second lowest one. And then whatever extra again, you put in there, you put in there. Then the, you're going to do the same with the third one. So whatever you were paying on the 5,000 rand loan, plus whatever you were, you, you were paying on the 10,000 rand loan, you will then take those two amounts plus the installment of the 20,000 rand one and put and pay it off. Uh, and pay it in that loan and with whatever extra amount that you have, then you put it in that loan. So that's the snowball. You start with the one that has the lowest balance and you focus aggressively on it and take the installment, edit on the second one, like that, like that. So what is the benefit of the snowball? The snowball, I love the fact that it's m focusing more on you as the person in this personal finance rather than the finance itself. Reason being, we know as human beings, we are encouraged and excited when we see something that is being paid off if our goal is to pay it off. So as you pay the, the, the smaller balance first, you feel motivated, you feel encouraged. So you see that thing happening and it gives like, yay, you tick, I just paid it off. Then it gives you motivation to do the same with the second one. So it's more of you. It motivates you as you are seeing all those debts being paid off because you are starting with one that is a, a lesser balance so that is the benefit as you see it being paid off it excites you it gives you motivation it gives you encouragement and you finally see you you basically you are eating the elephant piece by piece 
small biggie small biggie small biggie until the whole elephant is being eaten rather than starting with a bigger piece and you get overwhelmed and you don't know what you're doing and then you feel like oh i've been paying for this a uh, hundred thousand let's make an example if you had started with the twenty thousand rand one it's not getting paid i'm so tired i don't want to pay it off you know you feel discouraged but if you start with a snowball as you finish it off the money again is available to pay the other one but it also motivates you because you start seeing your debts being paid off so the second method is what we call avalanche avalanche is now more of the advanced people here it's for people that don't need motivation that already motivated it's more of the numbers game so here it's when you pay the debt that has the highest interest because remember the higher the interest the higher the money that you're giving to the bank so this one is for those people that now they're advanced or maybe they are self-motivated they don't need motivation they are now focusing on the one that is taking out more money from my pocket to the bank and that is what we call an avalanche. So on our example, let's make an example. Maybe the 20,000 rand one, which is the highest one, has the highest interest rate. So an, a person who's using avalanche method will go and then put more money, extra money aggressively on the 20,000 rand one so that they can finish that one more sooner and take whatever that they were paying there and then put it to the next one that is the higher interest so that the bank does not take money from you. Remember your installment that you pay at the bank if you are paying 5,000 rand, depending on your interest rate that you have, in that 5,000 rand, three things are happening. One amount is going to the bank fees, which is monthly so imagine if you need to pay that debt for the next five years so you still need to pay your monthly fee even if it's 80 rand but multiply 80 rand times five it's a lot of money you need to pay your monthly fee you need there's a certain amount of money in that five thousand rand let's just make an example maybe two thousand rand it's going for interest then the remaining uh, two point something thousand two point nine something thousand it's then going to pay off your debt so in that five thousand that you're paying not the full five thousand it's going to lower your debt there is an amount that is going to the interest so in the avalanche that's what we focus on we want to make sure that that two thousand the bank does not get it for longer because it means that the bank is taking more money from your wealth from your pocket so that person will be focusing on the numbers you know that's what i'm saying it's more for the advanced people who are already motivated who know that they don't need any motivation they just want to do the number games but if you are new most of my clients because they're still new in the game we always use the snowball method and it works wonders they get to be so motivated and um they get to finish all their debts you know this elephant of a debt you know um in no time because as they're paying off this ones that have small balances they are getting the motivation but i also have other clients that are also use the avalanche because they are advanced they they are good with motivation it's not their first time paying off debt so we use the one that now we are focusing more on the wealth part which is this is the money the money that is being taken out of our pocket to pay for this debt and then we use the avalanche method so the two methods are still effective depending remember personal finance is personal don't feel that because you are doing snowball method you are you are less of a finance person than somebody's doing avalanche you know it all depends on you as the person it's your own personal finance they will all they might not lead to the same results you know in terms of money value because that one will you know you will always save on the avalanche one more than if you pay off using the snowball one in the long run but at the end of the day the both methods will help you to finish your debt more sooner than the term making you to save money because you are not going to pay full term so both of them they have their own advantages which is um, saving money that is a common advantage and the other one it's more of motivation and the other one it's more of saving extra money on top of you paying extra saving more money by tackling the one that takes more money out of your pocket so i hope you did learn something i hope you know the two methods that you can use and two methods are good uh one is not better than the other it all depends on the situation where you at and the situation remember we spoke about levels which level are you in when it comes to your personal finances don't compare it with somebody else if you're in the snowball use the snowball 80 percent of the time with my clients i use snowball it's few clients that i use avalanche so 
I, as always, you know, in our community, in our community of wealth managers, we share those with other people so that they can come and be wealth managers and manage their wealth well by them getting this finance education. So please do share this with your other community in your social media platform. And if you're new and you got this far, I guess you love what you are hearing here. So please be part of our wealth managers by subscribing. And also don't forget to like and comment and tell me which method are you currently using which methods do you think is going to suit your situation from these two methods Thank you much guys for tuning in today i will see you guys tomorrow 6 a.m thank you bye